So here we have the Nissan Juke Tecna Automatic on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the boot, you'll notice we have no reversing sensors. That's because this car's got a 360 degree parking camera, which I'll show you when we're inside the car. Plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then this tray section can lift and remove to give you even more space underneath. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle, you can see the total mass of this car, which are 7,756. We have the fuel gauge and cool and temperature gauges in that section as well. And directly below those, it will show you what gear this car is currently in. As it's an automatic, we are in park at the moment. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls, and on the right-hand side, both cruise control and speed limiter. Over in the center, we have the touchscreen for the car. So amongst other things, you'll see that this car has got DAB, FM and AM radio. You can pair your phone from up here. We have a CD player. This car's also got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how that works on both our website and on our YouTube channel as well. And I mentioned the 360 parking camera. So if we pop the car into reverse, you'll see that on the left-hand side, we have a bird's eye view image of the car where it's parked at the moment and on the right hand side, a reversing camera. If we pop the car back into park and press the camera button on the stereo, we get a front facing camera and the bird's eye view or a front facing camera and the front passenger side wheel. So with all of those cameras, it does make it very easy to park this car. Working our way down, we have the climate control. So firstly, you can turn it on by adjusting the fans from here. When you're happy with that, you can adjust the temperature from this dial. You can adjust where you'd like the air to be diverted within the car. When you're happy with those settings, you can turn the air conditioning on and off from here. Or push this button in and you'll be putting it into auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that whenever you wish to, just by readjusting the fans or the direction of the air and you'll see that now you're back in a manual mode again. This screen also doubles up as the driver mode screen. So if you press the D mode button just there, you are able to change the driving setup of the car from normal to sport or eco. Whatever mode you're putting it in, you are affecting the engine, the gearbox, the steering, and the climate control to match your kind of uh, particular uh, driving suggestion with regards to these controls just here. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. To the right-hand side of that, we have the auxiliary and USB inputs, and to the left-hand side, a 12-volt charging socket underneath that cap just there. And all the way back underneath the armrest, we have driver and passenger heated seats. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.